something that we can do while you're home. It's got a normal straw here. It's got the bendy one right here. And um, got a piece of paper. This is like a watercolor sketchbook paper, um, but um, any paper would really do with this. And I'm gonna grab a brush here. I suppose you could use a brush or a dropper or anything to put the paint on. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my colors from my paint. This is just watercolor paint here in my palette. So it's, um, if you have like the little praying sets of watercolor, that'd be perfect to do any of this with. Like just a little set like that. So I'm gonna get some purple here. I think that'd be fun, use a little purple. And you wanna get it really wet and watery. I wanna get it wet and watery. And then put, I think I'm going to do it like the vertical way. Um, and hopefully everybody can still see that. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, I'm gonna put like just a drop of paint and maybe I'll do one more. I'm gonna put like a drop of paint on here. Okay, kind of build up that drop of paint. Like get that, be kind of a wet, real wet. Works better when it's wet. And my table's kind of at a little tilt. You know, if you notice it tilts downward a little bit. So, um, but I might want a little bit flatter for this. Just a little bit. So what you do then, you after your drop of paints on there, what's fun is you just take your uh, straw and you might see me in the picture in a second, we'll see. And you just blow. And make that, look at how that paint goes out. Now I'm gonna do that again. I want to get a little bit more, um, we could do this multiple times. That paint could dry or it doesn't have to, right? Either, either or on there. I'm um, just looking to see if anybody else is seeing. I see. I'm hoping everybody's outside. That's what I'm hoping right now. I'm hoping everybody is going outside and you're playing. I hope you've been doing that. I've been running a lap every day, getting ready for my Bob Ross run. I'm putting lots of dots on there just because I want to see what happens here. Yeah, I'm gonna blow that kind of in the more hard right there. Harder on the, there we go. And it, I think it kind of is different every time. If your paint has, um, I'm gonna get a bigger dot on there. Yeah, if your paint's a little more wet and watery, so that might go further. Let's see if it does. Oh yeah, that went all the way up to the top, right? That went all the way up there to the top of the paper. That's pretty cool. Let's do, um, let's do another one. I didn't do that red one, did I? I forgot to do the red thing. So, you know, a lot of things are closed. My daughter has her birthday this week. My sons have their birthday on April 11th. So, it's kind of a hard time. Um, a lot of stuff is closed, right? And so, it's not like them we're kind of staying at home. <clears throat> so the one thing that you can really do is use your imagination. You know, read the books, write a story, make art. Think about things with your imagination. kind of fun see all those and I, I'd love to see what you guys get if you do a little bit of watercolor so just take get your watercolors out take your little take a praying watercolor they're really nothing different than what I'm using you're not gonna get any kind of different effect um, I've got a little bit different colors and things that's kind of cool isn't it Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? You're just blowing through a straw. You're making art.
Okay, and then once we have, and you could do that. I mean, you could, I'm, I'm just doing it to this side of the paper. So then we're letting this dry. We're letting, um, we've got a really cool, this picture we've got, you can, you can basically see myself in that. Um, uh, we're letting this dry right here. And um, the, the next step would be to like kind of look at your um, picture. And I've seen a lot of students like make this, once this dries, we're gonna use a pencil and we're gonna make this into something. Like what does your imagination, and you could turn it this way. These might look like fireworks to you, or they might look like, like right here, there's a tentacles of an octopus right here, coming down right here. Um, this could be some kind of, so I've got an idea right here. And I'm going to do, and I'm going to get out my pencils, Let's see what we can do. I've got a Sharpie pen. So I was thinking, right now I kind of, um, like right here. So I'm going to make this, this is, uh, Use my imagination right here. And this is the top of someone's head. This is like what Mr. Van Houten looks like when he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> well, maybe not really, maybe not. But here's a cool thing. It doesn't have to be that. That could be like grass or it could be like an animal. Like this could be like porcupine quills. Wouldn't that be really cool? Of that like right there. So um, I'm gonna give some like eyes here, this person. I think that'd be fun. So I miss, I miss demonstrating like this. And like, I usually get up um, to the class, you know, during a class and I'm up, I'm up at the screen and everyone could kind of see and um, I'm doing a little demonstration all this. Should I make this Mr. Van Houten? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's Mr. Van Houten. I don't know right now. Okay, so I'm just drawing like onto there. That'd be fun. Does, I, I don't know if I want to be Mr. Van Houten. Let's see. Maybe it could be one of my sons or something too on there. Could be any kind of any kind of person on there. In their hair is it's, it's kind of going a little wild. Do you notice that person's hair? Art does not have to be done correctly the first time, right? I'll erase it. Just erase it, and it's okay to make some bad art. We've talked about that. It's okay to. Make some bad art and make art any way you want to do it. I hate my friend Bob Ross to be over there. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Happy accidents. So, give him a little shirt right here. <clears throat> and um, I could take a pen. I don't like this. I'm going to kind of give that kind of like a little illustration. That'd be fun. Here's like Sharpie pen right here. I'm just going in like this. So I'm gonna look and see if we've got anybody. Uh, I think everybody's outside today. I bet we are. And um, when you get your late into the classroom, we're gonna find this from classroom too. So I think that'll be fun saving this on my camera as we do this and then people can have a classroom link there's a little highlight in the eye right there so i'm kind of going around and i'm i'm making this could be like watercolor this this guy's not really that happy he's kind of <laughs> um this is what you're gonna look like maybe when you've been home for six weeks 
right? You've got like the crazy hair going on right here. So, and I'm wondering, like, um, you could do a person like this. I think this would be fun. Um, but then I'm wondering, like, if I did another one, what would I turn that into? You know, so if I did a little bit more of those straw blowing with the watercolor. But say you don't have watercolors at home. Um, let's say you have a different kind of paint. Can you do it with a different kind of paint? Yes, you can. Um, you could thin down the paint if you have acrylic or if you have tempera paint. You just thin it down, put a lot of water in it, make it very liquid. Just like a watercolor. The thing about watercolor is you're using a lot of water because it's very... Um, it's it's very dark concentrated color and so give it like a lot of water in it and then put it on your paper just like I did and blow your straw through that like like so and keep going you know and, and do what I'm doing it's it will work the same way really you just have to make sure that it's it's liquid enough if, if you don't like a different like acrylic paint if you don't make it liquid enough it probably is not going to work. So experiment. You don't have any watercolors at home? Oh, if you didn't have like, let's say, um, I'm kind of struggling with, with art supplies, get some food coloring. If your mom has food coloring in the pantry, you don't have any watercolor, um, that would work. You just put a little bit of that in your, um, it's just watered down kind of stuff. You usually use it for baking, but you could use it as a watercolor definitely work so I'm I'm giving this guy some pen and um, you can name him for me maybe you go on give my give my person name give your person name so yeah post what you make um, to mr. Van Houten send me an email um, V A N H O U T E A D at tcaps.net um, you can show me what you're doing and this is the time to get out your art materials like right now like tonight today and make something experiment with the straw blowing and I'd love to see what you can make I mean I think kids of all ages would be fun with this I'm having fun with this right now um, kids of all ages would have a lot of fun with this you could do it with little kids, you could do it, I mean, high school kids could do this. So your whole family maybe could really do a little art project. Oh, I just smeared it a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, my paint wasn't quite dry yet. But again, right, happy accident. Um, totally okay. And I just got my finger in it right there. So we could go in and watercolor more. You could use markers. You could use crayons. Uh, I could put a thing on the shirt. I could add a background. Or I could just leave it white. I think that a lot of choices that you could have in finishing the paper. So I'm hoping everybody is enjoying themselves right now. I know that you're all at home. It doesn't mean that you can't be imaginative like this. And I want you to um, create, explore, and have a lot of fun. And I'm hoping to see everybody very soon. Get outside. Take a walk. Friday is going to be very nice. Um, I'm hoping that you'll get some nice weather and we can all go outside and see some different things. Okay, take care, everybody. And um, I will see you next time. Post some pictures for me um, and show me what you're making at home. Okay, bye.